Let's hope it's loud enough. Um, Microphone uh, is going way up, so it should be fine. And I can see it. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to today's session. And it's really exciting because of you. It's always exciting to be part of a virtual class, which is one of the answers to my question. So um, this is the first of many such classes that you'll be viewing live if you're here, or um, you'll be viewing the recordings if you couldn't make it. You'll have a chance to uh, view the recordings as many times you can. So um, I see you're busy writing in the chat box. It's great. So keep it up. Tell us where you're from and feel free to use the chat box as uh, a way to um, think things out. You know, write what you think, write what you feel. Feel free to share your ideas. You know, sometimes I use the chat just to kind of chat with myself to get my ideas across. Uh, for those of us who enjoy writing as a way to think things out. So the course is called Blending and Flipping Classes with Technology. Now, what does that mean to you? Okay, so you can think about it. And I like Denise's, I like everybody's comments, but it just kind of popped right now. Denise says, lifelong learners. So that's what we are. And Maria says, blending to use the best of <laughs> the best of the face to face and virtual. Yes, the only thing is that we're not in the same physical space, although we are in the same virtual space, which is the WizIQ layout. And we're here at the same time. You know, it may be different time zones, but we're all here um, right now. Okay, those of us that are um, watching this live. So people are going to be coming in as we go. And I asked, what does blending and flipping classes with technology mean to you? Okay, so first of all, we'll start with blending. What is blending? Oh, I like that. Very nice. To turn technology into value. That's right. Whatever we do should have value. Or everything we do does have value, but we just have to find it. Okay, is my motto. Everything is good. We just have to find out how and why. So blending is combining, of course. And uh, it's adding technology. And when we talk about technology, we all have different things in mind. So what do you have in mind when you think, or right now, okay? It doesn't have to be uh, in the past. What do you have in mind when you think of technology? I guess I have the car in mind when I'm driving and all the different gadgets that I have in my car. But what do you think of when you think of technology and blending and flipping classes? Okay, I don't know if any of you think of pens or pencils. Uh, Vanita says something that makes the task easier. Yeah, generally, right? Technology is supposed to help and make things easier, even though sometimes it's complicated until you get there. Web 2.0. All right. And rather than Web 1.0, I presume, did yay. <laughs> Okay, so thank you. Mobile communication. When you think of technology, I, I actually, I think of wires, you know, I think of different wires. Um, but when it comes to learning, I think of the virtual class and teaching online. That's what I think of, the virtual class and teaching online. 
And when I think of online and the wires, I think of the internet. Okay, so that's, um, that's what it means to me. But we all have our own ideas. But I think it's important when we talk to anyone um, is that, you know, we clarify what we mean so that there isn't confusion as we go. Okay, so that's what I think of the virtual class and teaching online. That's, that's my interpretation. Very personal. And it's how I follow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give everyone uh, a chance to uh, write on the whiteboard. And if you could just not write freehand, but use the A, there's an A there for text. So go into the A, you'll see it on the left. Okay, so A for text. And um, use your keyboard. to answer the question, why are we here? I wanted to ask, why are you here? But I thought that would be provocative and maybe misinterpreted, and I don't want that to happen, Okay, which is one of the challenges of being in a virtual room where we don't see one another yet. But we will very soon. Soon, uh, we'll all have a chance to be seen. But then it's only parts of us Okay, it would be, you know, we wouldn't have the whole room and it would be difficult. Okay, so the question, Liz, there, I think you're the last one there. Everybody has writing tools and if you just use the A on the left, you should all see the A. I can put um, a line for the A there. Okay, there's an arrow for where the A should be. Okay, so you access that. And why are we here? And of course, we're all referring to ourselves, but, you know, why are we here? And I mean right now. I don't mean why are we here in this world? <laughs> why are we here? Okay, not that far back, um, but right now. Okay, why have we gathered together? If you want to add your name next to your comments, you can do that. You don't have to. But I can see your names coming up, Liz, as you're writing. But it's a bit fast. You can move things around, by the way. Um, it's flash based, so you don't have to move this. You don't have to scroll down. You just pick whatever you have and you can move it. You can move other people's um, things. Okay, for example, um, just pick it up, pick it up. Okay, and then you'll be able to move things around. Actually, it's a lot of fun. It's more fun than moving this slide scroll. But, oh, somebody's curious. Okay, when you, I'll get through the slides in a minute. You'll all have a chance to. So let me take you back in case you got lost. We're on whiteboard number 10. So the way to move things is you hover them, then you can move them around so that, see, um, to somebody start writing to share. I can move, you can do it too. You can move things around. Actually, it's a lot of fun. Moodle has this option too. You can just move things. There, I just, um, if you want. There, I just moved it for you, sorry. You can also break, and this is good practice, you can also break down uh, whatever you have. Thank you, Liz. You can also break things down uh, by cutting your editor. It's kind of a, it's a good editor, the WizIQ has. I have no idea where they got it from, but it's, it's the best I've seen in a virtual class. Uh, Didier, yes, Didier, if you can move yourself a bit up and add Damar, you can move your text up too, so that uh, everything is a bit higher up, and then we don't have to move the um, the scroll slide. Sorry. Yeah, just move your your stuff by hovering over it. Here, I'm taking a Adamar. I just try to move yours, but you're working on it, so that disturbed you. 
Okay, this is just to give you an idea of how the writing tool, the text works. It's a very good editor, as I mentioned. You're moving the scroll bar, which is um, whoever's doing it. I don't know how you feel about it, but for most people, it's kind of um, annoying because we don't generally read as things move. When we read, we like things to be stationary or we kind of feel dizzy. You know, it's like working in a car. Some people can read. How many of you, by the way, can read in the car? If you can just give me a thumbs up. Um, if you can read while, while you're moving in a car, well, you're not driving, of course, but somebody else is driving, you're sitting in the car, I will put my thumbs down because I can't do it. I, I, I feel dizzy in the car. I can do it on a plane very well. But in the car, it's kind of, ah, for you too, Ramesh. Yeah, for you too, Marie. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I can't do it. Um, yeah, for those of you who don't know the virtual class, there's a smiley uh, in the chat and you can use it. Great. All right. So I see, uh, it seems like Becky is uh, up and down, I guess. So it's um, probably uh, different. There, you got the pointer. Very good. And you got a smiley in there as well. Okay. So actually, um, the whiteboard is a great way to uh, share information. It's collaborative. Um, you can move things around, not only add different things, but you can move things around. Okay, I'm moving Liz. See, I moved it up. And you can also break, I'm on Liz now, you can also change the color. So what I'd like you to do now is change the color of the font, of your font. So go back to your um, to your writing. Oh, no, no, no. Do not add freehand. You can add freehand, by the way, by using a uh, pen, a digital pen. And it works really well um, in these white boards. I see someone has highlighted what they wrote. If you could change the font to another color. Oh, that's lovely. I love uh, the background. Background is really nice. I want you to get acquainted a little bit with the editor. Okay, the writing editor uh, for writing information and see if you can change the font. Right now, everybody's font is black. And you've highlighted, some of you have highlighted, which looks great. Uh, Becky, yeah, someone is moving the board, which is one reason why you might not give everyone rights, even though you can see who's moving it, because their names appear at the bottom left. So you know who's causing the movements. So it's not the wind, no. And not always, Judy. It doesn't necessarily have to happen. It happens because people are curious, and that's wonderful. Students are curious, and everybody's a student. And it's, it's tempting, especially when you're together and nobody really sees your face doing any... Oh, I see someone's done that. Uh, someone over here has is playing around excellent with the colors. Yeah, it's just like any other editor. You've got the background and you also have the font there. That's good. There's the red font. Okay, so this is something that you should practice before you create your own class. So I'm going to take away your rights back. Okay, and everyone's except for one person. One person is going to have their rights left. Okay, and normally in a class, I would just let one person sometimes to go to the whiteboard and add their answers or their comments one at a time. This way they know that they're the only ones and it's embarrassing to be the only one Okay, and everybody's eyes are on you. So there's a negative and there's a positive in that. Okay, so Didier, you've got the floor. You're the only one with rights right now. Okay, so Didier, could you please go to Why Are We Here and change the font of Why Are We Here? 
Okay, that's just a little task. Yes! Okay. So, I don't know. Did anybody come in late? Did I miss anyone? If you came in late, could you write your name in the chat? Because you probably didn't get writing tools. I only gave those that were here. Okay. Okay. Did ye, did, did ye follow my instructions correctly? That this, if this is a language class, you know, following instructions is really important because it's in a foreign language to the students. Um, so you would say, well, was that what I asked? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So did you, could you change, you change the font very good. And you also change the background. So he did two things. Okay. He highlighted it first, Becky. That's right. Okay. So this is important. It gets the students, of course, uh, paying attention and trying to see if, you know, so thank you. That's right. Yeah. It does, uh, applauding. Okay, so that's very good, Didier. Uh, you did really well. Exactly. Okay, so if Didier made a mistake, I can now tell Yada. Yada, I'd like you to go and fix uh, Didier's mistake. Okay, so, or I can ask, please raise your hand if you'd like to. Did you notice a mistake? Well, if you did, would you like to fix it? All right, so I'll give you rights. So Yada, I'm going to give you rights to fix the mistake. Uh, because did ye did not exactly follow the instructions. Okay, so could you uh, fix it? So let's see if Yada. Okay, Yada now is oh, is the only one with writing tools. I could also ask did ye did ye could you please fix um, this little mistake? Could you fix it? And then if he can't, I can ask someone else or whatever. Okay, so these are different techniques for teaching just a few of teaching in a classroom. You can teach anything, whether it's mathematics. By the way, what do you teach? If you can add in the chat box, what do you teach? If it's more than one subject, um, you can add that. So we've got ESL, Spanish, economics, math. So I'm still waiting for Yada to fix um, Didier's little mistake. Composition, leadership, excellent. Um, and Carol teaches. Carol, what do you teach? Japanese, wow, wow, English and philosophy. And IT, Edamar, adult learners, early childhood. But what exactly do you teach? Um, that's the general, or oh, you teach those subjects, Judy. Um, English language, Carol, thank you. Uh, Richard, you teach combat what? English classes also. Oh, very good. Okay, now, did uh, Yada fix the mistake? Could you raise your hand if Yada fixed the mistake? Or did he make another mistake? <laughs> I, I'm calling it a mistake. It's not necessarily a mistake. Ah, oh, excellent. That's congratulations. That's great. Error, error is a better word. Yes, Becky. He continued. The <laughs> All right, Becky, would you like to? Uh, okay, so raise your hand. It makes it easier for me to find you. Uh, that's why I asked you to raise your hand. Raise your hand if you'd like to um, fix the error. Okay, it makes it easier if you raise your hand. I can find you. Becky, I'm going to give you um, rights so you can take care of it. Thank you for <laughs> pointing. But there's also a raised hand, Becky. Okay, there's a raised hand just above um, my webcam. Okay, so let's see what Becky. Becky, let's see. Oh, I think Yada is still there. So um, let me take away Rod Yada's rights so that only Becky's out there. All right, so Becky, I think Yada tried to fix it. And then you think, well, what was the original word? I mean, what was the what were the instructions in the first place? Okay, what were the instructions? Thank you, Judith. Thank you for um, clarifying that. Yes, Yada, you knew it. It was to change the font. Oh, and I see that uh, you don't have to erase it. You can just go back to the editor um, 
and take care of that but that's okay see if you click on the editor if you click on it it comes back and you don't have to you don't have to delete erase or anything like that that's what's nice about editors that um, you don't have to start all over you can just fix whatever is there okay so let's go back to over there uh, let's see who's got rights and okay so this is a way to notice what's happening now um, Becky okay Becky's got the rights um, and she's back with the editor okay and now she's going to click on it only she will see it as it happens she will see the editor once she clicks on it or actually she can tell us what she did okay there's Becky she's with a pointer so we can see she's on the whiteboard now she needs to get rid she's trying Now notice Becky you're trying to click on it with a pointer you have to go above the pointer just above the pointer there's another tool um, it's called selection tool if you click on the selection tool you'll get rid of the um, pointer because the pointer only points to things it, uh, and then you'll be able to do that okay this is something really important that you may not catch I don't know if any of you know about this most people who use WizIQ don't know about it but if you're on the pointer you can't do anything else except point there we are there's a clap that's right okay way to go Becky you did it okay Becky did it she got rid of the highlight the whole thing was just to change the font and actually did he change the font he did it right um, he just had the highlight before and he probably didn't know how to get rid of it which is fine all right so we're that's just a little warm-up for everybody and uh, question time okay before I continue okay so um, are there any questions we'll get rid of um, the whiteboard there I'm deleting it and the other one is back all right so that was a little bit of um, technology okay playing around with it and seeing how things work but you also got something else okay so um, what did you get now when I say what did you get it's not feedback it's not reflection well maybe it could be reflection but it's simply a description if you could describe what happened and then what you got now the got is a very very generic word okay you could say what did you learn uh, what did you notice because when I ask my students what did you learn they don't know what they learned in most cases but they know that they notice certain things and then they realize oh I learned that I just noticed that and some didn't notice that and they say oh I didn't notice that I thought I didn't learn anything and I just noticed that and that's something new okay so these are things that we might watch out for the word learn is very very uh, you know it's 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 um, almost problematic in the sense that you know when when your students tell you I didn't learn anything that's not true and and they might really be convinced that it is okay so that's a little warm-up and again the question is what did you get okay so uh, if you could just answer that what did you get And everybody will write something else it's like describing an accident or you know some phenomena what did you see okay so um, I got to edit the text excellent <laughs> I got to edit okay if you're a language teacher this might be interesting what did you get I got the tools okay what did you get Okay, lots of meanings behind the word get. Okay, so something to think about now.
Oops, somebody moved. A little bit about um, what we're going to be doing today. Okay, we're going to um, be looking at the media player. We're going to be looking at screen sharing. These are tools in this virtual classroom. We're going to look at breakout rooms, polling, and the chat box. So far, um, what have you done? These are different things that a virtual classroom has. Most of them have. And what did you get? Well, you got two things. You got a chance to write on the whiteboard. So you saw the whiteboard, you saw what was there, and you're using the chat. Okay, the most popular place in a virtual classroom and the most active one should be the chat. Okay, that's where things should be happening. Did you invite participants? Did anyone invite anyone? Did you? Anyone invite anyone? No? Can you? Can you invite anyone? Raise your hand if you think you can invite anyone from this virtual class. Straight from the class. No, 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 no. Is it possible to invite? Oh, Vanita says yes. Vanita, uh, do you have a uh, webcam or a microphone? Vanita says yes. And Didier says yes, I think. Vanita, now, yes. Vanita? Do you have a microphone? No, I don't have a microphone. No, unless you have rights. All right, let's see if you can find a way to invite others to the class without any rights. Anyone? I, Damar, has a microphone. Is there a share button? Anybody know? No, not through the chat. Invite attendees. Anybody? With a link. All right. Yes, with a link. Okay, let me uh, screen share and show you. Okay, I'm going to screen share, but in order for me to screen share, there we go, you won't be seeing how I screen share, but you will be seeing the screen share of the classroom as I go through um, the different parts, okay, which is what I'm going to do right now if things work. Okay, let's hope it does. I haven't used um, WizIQ and I've changed my system a few times. By the way, how many of you again have mics? I see that um, at least one person has. Uh, who was it? Ada, somebody with an, Adamar. Adamar has a microphone and uh, Vigel, long name, has a microphone. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce it. And I see that some people are sending me messages that I can't see right now. Okay, it looks like um, it's not connecting to the server. No, my screen is not connecting to the server. Let's see if I can fix it. Let's see what happens if it works or not. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't uh, on my Mac, but it always works on a PC. So if you're using a PC, you shouldn't have any problems at all. And with my um, 
Mac, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And no, it's not frustrating. It just means that, well, maybe for you, because you won't be able to see the screen sharing. But yes, um, I think Mac does have some issues. Um, because it's very, very uh, closed. Macs are very closed. And PCs are more open. You can use um, more things. No, it's not coming up because it's saying that uh, there's something that I need to activate Java. And it seems that it has to be done all the time. So I don't know if, I, uh, if it'll work right now. But what I am going to do is I'm going to ask one of you to do um, it for me. So um, let me ask um, for a volunteer. Okay, who would like to volunteer and screen share for me? Becky. Okay, that's Becky, have you ever screen shared before? All right, so let's try it. Okay, we're going to give uh, Becky and then uh, there's uh, Denise as well. Okay, and DJ would like to. All right, so uh, let's, um, let me give Becky, since you raised your hand first, you were the first brave one. I'm going to give Becky um, the tools and Becky is going to also get voice. Okay, I'm not going to give webcams right now but they said I don't know if your microphone works or not Becky um, so it may not work but that's okay I've given you um, writing tools Becky you no know, it looks like uh, your microphone's not working yet let's see why there's latency okay so you've got the tools what I'd like you to do Becky is I'd like you to go where it says screen just above the WizIQ Education Online, it says screen. If you go to the screen and click on it, first of all, do you see it? Becky, you'll have to use the chat because your microphone's not working. There, Ramesh is giving us hints. Thank you, Ramesh. Seventh button on top from the left. Okay, so click on the screen. Don't be afraid. It's the first on the right, did you? On yours. Okay, there. We can see that Becky got it. Okay. And I think Becky has never used WizIQ before. As far as I know, um, Becky is a first timer. Anybody else? If you could just add in the chat. Are you, is this the first time? that you're on WizIQ. Give me a thumbs up if it's the first time. Thumbs up is easier, Richard, uh, for me. Okay, is this the first time? Okay, yeah, I realize that for Becky it's the first time. So let's see what happens. By the way, Becky, are you using a Mac? <laughs> I didn't ask. <laughs> because if you're using a Mac, you may need to add some. Oh, you're not. Okay, so this should work just fine. And DJ is the newbie. Anybody else? Used other programs. I took a Mac and updated Java. Yeah, for, uh, and Firefox. Uh, I don't know. The Mac, the Java is problematic. I have to, because I was I was away for about a month, so maybe that's why my Java got stale. It's still connecting to the server. I wonder why it's taking longer. Yeah, Carol, you uh, you're not new to WizIQ. That's great. Okay, it's taking time. All right, we're not going to wait. We're going to um, thank you. Um, it's taking too long. I'm going to let somebody else try it. Okay, Becky, for some reason it's um, it's taking too long. Carol, how's it? Anybody have success recently with um, with a screen sharing apparatus? Carol, I'm going to give you the tools. And um, hello, Cheryl, good to see you. And um, Becky, I'm going to take your rights away for now. 
and I gave it to Thomas by mistake. There we go. Okay, so I'm, I'm playing around. I wanted to show you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. That was the idea. So, um, okay, Becky, I've taken away your right. Don't take it personally, okay? Um, and, and I think when we feel frustrated, it's generally a very personal thing. Um, with technology, don't bother. You know, if things don't work, it's not your fault. Never. You're always good to go because, you know, it's technology. So um, maybe we didn't update this or we didn't update that, you know. But, but why should we update anything? Shouldn't technology be always ready and available? That's right, Maria. So, you know, it's fine. So, um, Carol, I've given you um, the tools. Okay, so if you could go to the screen sharing you give such great, <laughs> because it's true, it's true, you know. Um... Okay, so let's see if it works with Carol. If not, we're going to continue, and um, you'll be doing this anyways, and discovering things for yourself as you go. Okay, so uh, no screen sharing for us. So Carol is trying. Let's see if this works, and then uh, we'll tell her what we want to see. Okay, this will give us a chance to... Um... That's right, Didier. And we have to tell our students so that they don't think that we're, you know, the teachers are perfect, because we're not. And, you know, and, and kids really love it. They love to learn that their teachers are human, and that, you know... They don't have to feel that if they make a mistake that it's wrong. It's okay. Everybody makes it. So it's, it's modeling. <laughs> it's modeling to our students that we're all learners. You know, we're not uh, special in any way. Uh, no, uh, Denise, you never know what's going to happen with your system. Uh, you can check everything. And... Um, it might work, it might not. I mean, things happen, and we don't generally um, have much control over them. I get the connected server if screen sharing doesn't start. Click here to fix. Okay, you've got the same problem that I have, Carol. So again, it's, um, it's probably a new Java that uh, just came out a few days ago or came out a few minutes ago. You know, it could be that. <laughs> it could be the Java just got, um, you know. So, Carol, did you do it? Are you managing? Because I see it's gone. I don't know whether you gave up or... Um, Carol, did you give up or... Are you able to share or did you get kicked out? I don't see Carol anymore. Okay. Um... All right, so maybe Carol got kicked out because she did something wrong. It happens. All right. Oh, Carol's back. <laughs> All right, so maybe Carol, yeah, there, there seems to be something uh, stuck here. It could be a little thing. These are called plugins. I don't know if you know much about it. I used to teach um, technology. Um, plugins. You know, plugins are supposed to help work to make sure that things work, but the plugins need to be plugged in kind of thing. So, um, yeah, me too. I'm going to do it. Too. We'll see what happened. <clears throat> Plus, um, we always get support from WizIQ. All right, so what I'd like you to do is this. You're going to be doing this yourself anyways, so there's no, um, there's no real problem. All right, these are the different parts of the tool, but you're going to be doing this today. In order to create a class, you need to create a course. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a course. All right, so are you ready? Get your uh, sleeves rolled up. You're going to create a course right now. So you're on WizIQ, which means that you have an account. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go and create a course. By the way, how many of you have courses? How many of you have courses? You're going to keep listening as you work. So you're going to hear my voice. And you're going to follow it. So I see Ramesh has a course. Excellent. If you could, um, great, not yet working on it. Okay, so you're going to create a course, first of all. 
okay um, and you'll give it a name but remember you can always edit so whatever you call your course you can always change it all right so let's do that right now you're going to go into your account okay so um, it's not complete that's okay that's okay because uh, you're going to create a class within the course so the first thing you do Ramesh you're going to create a class those of you who have courses will schedule a class okay so are you ready and I'll give you the steps okay so the first thing you do since I'm not screen sharing is you're going to go to your WizIQ account okay so you're looking at your WizIQ account you're gonna go to something called home do you all see home just let me know in the chat you're gonna use both you're gonna use the chat and you're going to be doing a task so do you all see home okay I see Thomas sees home yeah 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 okay so anybody not see home give me a thumb no put them go to your whiz IQ account and on the top you should see your name on the right and on the left you should see home notice you're getting the information through your audio okay you're hearing the information i want you to feel what it's like not to see anything but only to follow instructions from hearing it okay and these are the steps you're going to schedule a class okay so let's go there now home anybody else um okay so home home is the right and my name is on the left your name is on the left and home is on the right are you sure does anybody else have home on the right and their name on the left yes home I have home on the left but that's okay as long as you click on home okay so click on home and then go to the left the very very left and then you will see create course on the left of the page the very very left you will see create course that's where you create a course Oh, Cheryl, yes, you do. Yes, thank you for mentioning that. Yes, you have to be a teacher. I didn't realize that some of you were students. And by the way, all of you will get an account that you can use as a teacher. Okay, anyone in this course will be able to get, if you don't already have one, a free academic account, an account for teachers. I lost in the space. You're lost in the space, Adamar. All right, so come back. Okay, come back. And let's take a look at the live class. Okay, for those of you um, that are stuck in space, let's take a look at uh, the live class. All right, this is the live class. Number one is where you get your files. Number two is where you edit whatever needs to be edited. Number three is going left and right. This is the virtual class, the whiteboard that you saw before. Number four are your libraries, if you have a library as a teacher. Number five is your desktop where you can get files. Number six is going forwards back and deleting your PowerPoint presentation number seven is adding another whiteboard number eight is your media player number nine is the screen sharing that wasn't working right now but it works really well number 10 is the poll you can create a poll and number 11 is the breakout rooms that you will try out you will try out all the blues 
when you schedule a class. These PowerPoint presentations are available and they will be in the courseware. Courseware is where the content is and where you can add your content when you create a course. The reds, what are the reds? Yes, it is Ramesh. Uh, you can ask yes, no questions at this time. That's the poll. Well, what are the reds? Exactly, Maria. You will be creating a course, scheduling a class, and practicing. Until next time. Until next week. Okay, so you have a whole week of practice. So what are the reds? On the left, what are these reds? One, two, three. You should know what they are because we've you had a chance to see them before. They're editing. They're called writing tools, actually. But yes, they're for editing, whatever. So number one, what is number one? This is your home for the writing tools. You always go back to number one if you want to do any of the functions. If you want to do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to 16, you need to start from number one. So number one is really the selector, thank you, Ada, is really, really important. Because if you're stuck with number two, you can't do three, four, five to 16. You have to stop number two by going to number one and vice versa. So you always need to go back to number one, which is your selector. Okay, very important to remember. And the rest are easy. So number two, what's number two? Let's see if you remember number two. That's right. Number three. Number three I don't like because it's free writing and it's just a mess. But a lot of people like it. It's free handwriting. Very good, Denise. If you have a, a digital pen, it's great. Okay, but if not, I don't like it. But you can like it if you like. Number four. Number four I love <laughs> for the same reason I don't like number three. Number four is the text, that's right. And it has an editor and you can change the color and it's, it's lovely. It's, it's one of the best editors that I've found. Number five, I like a lot because as an English language teacher, I use it quite a bit. My students use it to point to things. It's um, putting boxes, number six, and so on. For those of you who are guessing, number 14 and 15 are really important. Okay, because we, we don't want things to be black or gray. And, um, oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay. All right, so number four, you've got, this is what I have in my library. It's called my content, but actually it's a library. You can build it up for your courses. You can also have it named by folders. So there's a lot of... Um, organization involved on WizIQ for your library. Okay, that's your content. And you add it to the um, whiteboard by clicking on Add to Class. So when they say Add to Class here, they mean Add to the whiteboard. And then it just appears. It can be PowerPoint, um, PDF, Excel, Word document, not audio or video, that's a bit different. Okay, so that's your content. Notice number one and two, you can refresh. If you want to see it, you need to refresh to something that we forget. Refresh, refresh, because you, it won't be refreshing itself. So if it's showing that it hasn't come up yet from the WizIQ library, you need to refresh your page your library page. Okay, once you do that, you can add content and uh, schedule class, share class. This is exactly what we're going to be doing. This is what it looks like. Okay, um, you can see all of your slides like that, or you can see them individually. These are the parts that you don't see right now. I can screen share. So this is what I'm doing instead of screen sharing. 
I prefer to screen share to uh, using slides but there are disadvantages to screen sharing any ideas what some of the disadvantages to screen sharing are what do you dislike about screen sharing that maybe your students would dislike too Ooh. you like to see screen sharing Maria all right anybody find something unpleasant no it's not fuzzy Becky usually it's very very clear at least on WizIQ, IQ it's very very clear so no I know that on I think illuminate or uh, on some of the uh, collaborate I think it's fuzzy but no here it's very very clear lag for some people yes that's true Thomas yeah for some people the voice might not coordinate uh, with the actual screens yes because people have different but was IQ has taken care of that as well so um, that's something they're they've worked on <laughs> anything else that's cute um, I'm just looking at the chat uh, in the conversations well what I find I don't know about you I find it boring sometimes because you you don't you don't have the chat in front of you you can't really relate to things the chats not open and you keep seeing these screens over it you know it just gets boring and to the eyes the eyes get bored so you know you have to vary a little bit of this a little bit of that is good but I like to get students to screen share that's what I wanted you to do um, because screen sharing taking turns makes it interesting show me what you did and then they screen share their work okay so that's exciting all right so instead of screen sharing this is it okay so number one of course are the slides you can have the slides this way I said or one at a time um, number two is the bar does anybody know what this shows you probably have seen it before on your cell phones maybe on your um, other mobile connection that's right that's your internet connection number three of course is your writing tools uh, number five this is muting your mic it's muted this is your webcam muted if you want to mute it you just go over it why don't you um, mute I don't know you can you mute me you can mute me <laughs> you can mute me and my webcam by clicking on it you can mute yourself if you get um, speaking tools I'm still trying to see how many of you have mics that work and number six of course is um, the wrench here okay this is where you go in number seven to test your devices okay so these are different things you will see when you create a class okay so uh, device settings as I said and then you can hide when you click on hide things disappear you don't see them in front of you okay and you'll see that when you create your class this is how you test the system okay you go to these you test you make sure that you've got the right system okay here you open the uh, menu to get your system okay this you see I was using my computer system instead of mine what I'm using now is a Logitech I think it's better maybe I don't know maybe I'm wrong of course you don't click on this when the class is live unless you want to close the class because you can't reopen it so you see the X right now is uh, hidden because the class is not live I did this screen sharing when the class was not live but if you click on it when it's live that's it okay so it's important to stay away from that now these little things here these arrows this is to minimize this is to pop in pop out you'll have a lot of fun with that you can even do it now you can play around with the room and I suggest you do that right now um, hover your mouse over the uh, minus sign and tell me what happens what happens when you hover 
your mouse over the minus sign just below my webcam. And you can do this when you're watching the recordings too, by the way. <laughs> you vanished. I vanished. <laughs> That's cute. Wow. So you can play around with the room. Okay, I'm going to extend the class here. You can play around with the room. And I went down to the bottom. So if you click on the arrow, I will pop in. I will pop in or pop out. I always get confused. Pop in or pop out. Now you can also keep it in the middle. Notice it stays in the middle. You can move me all around. Okay. You, oh, I see Carol has, <laughs> all right, Carol still had the, uh, the writing tools. Okay, so you can move me around. You can place me in the middle, you can place me on the side, and you can do this with a recording. You can get rid of me, you can minimize me, maximize me, you can make a whole screen of, no, don't do that because I don't look that good. But if you've got a nice presenter who looks really good and you want to take a look at them, you can, you know, um, maximize them. You can also move the chat. Notice there's minimize for the chat and there's minimize. Okay, you can also minimize the chat, get rid of it, play around with it. Okay, I'm going to do it since I'm recording this and then you get, you know, as a teacher I can minimize everything and then I can get rid of my... I'm showing this because this is going to be uh, recorded um, and added to YouTube. I'm recording this through uh, Camtasia. So I'll play around and see what Nelly was doing and you couldn't see because I couldn't screen share with you. I apologize. Even though you know that I have no control. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Okay, so play around with it. Now, people don't realize this, but they can do this when they're watching, as I said this before. When they're watching... Um, the recordings if they don't want or if their connection is slow and they want to just hear some people don't get distracted by seeing you know they they uh, I often get distracted I need to hear and, and if I see a face you know it just so I get rid of the face you can do that okay so you can play around notice um, number one here is the minimize the pop number two number three you can invite attendees this is what I was talking about before. You can invite attendees. You can do that from the actual class. Yeah, things go to the bottom left. Not right, but bottom left when they're minimized. And then you need to pop them. You just click on them and they pop back up. But it's nice because it gives you a chance to have some control as a student, of course, as a teacher, uh, when you're recording the class. And we'll talk about the, um, uh, the flipped classroom and the importance of blending. We, we want to um, create videos before for the students and uh, we want to have a different layout. We don't want it with the students. There aren't any students anyways. And you can create videos without students in the class and fix the class the way you wish it uh, to be. Okay, let's see if there's anything else around that you can't see. Okay, this is um, the chat area. Of course, you can uh, connect with everybody. You can change the font. And why don't you change the font from 12 to something else? This is your chance now. Change the font in the chat. Okay, change it to another color. See, number four is a different color. Number 12 is a different font size. Okay, let's see who's the first. Who's going to be the fastest on the draw, on the tools, right? So in the chat, change the color and size. If you can't see the chat box, that means it's at the bottom left. You must have minimized it. Uh, you need to pop it in to get it back. Unless I have disabled you. Mm -hmm. 
So if you don't see anybody writing and you're wondering what's going on, that means you have done exactly what I did. You disabled your students. So if you see disable, it means that it's enabled if you see, okay? So make sure, there we go. Now we've got colors. Well, how did it feel to be disabled? <laughs> Not very good. Okay, so students can't tell you that they're disabled because they don't have the chat. So um, watch out for that. Make sure that your eyes, because it happens unintentionally, okay? These are little things that happen, and this could be embarrassing, of course, because you did cause it without knowing. So make sure that it's not, you don't see the word enable. If you see enable, it means it's disabled. Uh, you can also tell your students <laughs> that they can copy the whole chat, but they can also get get it, of course, in the um, recordings. Okay, so um, make sure that you're... And what are all these? Okay, so what's number two? Is it enabled or disabled? I want to know. Number two, does it mean that the chat box is enabled or disabled? It says disabled. What does it mean? Does it mean disabled? <laughs> okay, that's technology for you. Very confusing language. When it says disable, you got it. That's right, Marion and Gu Guadalupe and Cheryl and Yada. Okay, you're right. Number two, when it says disable, it means it's enabled. <laughs> but if it said enabled, it would be disabled. So make sure you look, excuse me, you look at that throughout. Okay, and of course, you can copy the chat, as I said before, number three. So what is number four? What is number four? You know already because you played around with it. That's right. Great students. Great. And what's number five? Now, tell me, is number five pop in or pop out? <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> That's cute. <clears throat> Poo out. That. Okay, also not logical. Don't expect logic from people who create technology. They're not teachers. And keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out how to use a tool. It was not designed by teachers. With teachers in mind or students in mind. It was designed by tech people who know nothing about learning. And that's a problem. All right. So this is your quiz. See if you know all the parts. <coughs> if you know the part, if you don't know anything, let me know. Okay, if there's anything you don't know, number in the red, green, or blue, anything you don't know, let me know. Yes, of course you'll practice. The only way to really get this is to practice. Okay, so number two is really important. The time is over the time. It's over. The class was supposed to close down. And it does close down. It gets what's called timed out. And what happens when the class times out? What happens? Any, I hope it never happens to you. <laughs> but what happens when the class times out? You don't have a chance to say goodbye. You don't have a chance to say thank you. You don't have a, a chance for anything. It just out. Everybody gets kicked out. You don't want that to happen. So make sure that you extend. Okay, the class has not ended, people. I'm just telling you. <laughs> make sure that you extend the class, which is what I did. And you'll be notified five minutes before. You'll be notified five minutes before each time so that you can either extend. There's the clock. You can extend or let it time out. I always extend because you don't want to be timed out. 
you don't want people to get kicked out it's a very unpleasant feeling how many of you have been kicked out of the class because it timed out how many of you I know I have <clears throat> not very pleasant okay so you don't want to get timed out I'm showing you a screen share okay that's screen sharing and that's it so you're going to create a class before you can create a class you're going to um, create a course once you create a course you're going to schedule a class you're going to give a class okay and the rest is right here okay let me share the uh, Google document with you I was going to demonstrate how to create one but uh, since my um, screen sharing apparatus didn't work I'm going to um, share it with you now okay so um, I'm going to provide you with the link and this is going to be um, something you'll be doing okay so here it is there's another class at in two hours two hours at um, I think it's 12 o'clock yeah 12 o'clock EST there's a class that you can take which will help you with the first assignment okay but you'll find the assignment in the courseware and let me just take you there very briefly um, I think it's here Uh, or here let me check where it is uh, yeah it's right here okay this is uh, the PowerPoint presentation with the information this is how you create a course okay the first thing you do is you go into your particular account you have to have a teacher's account that's true so if you're a student you'll have to get another account as a teacher and then you're going to uh, create a course this is what a course looks like once it's created okay on the left there's the course feed course where you can add a live class right here this is where you'll be adding it this is where you'll be adding so you need this left side to get this left side you need to create a course and I told you how to create a course you um, go to home and then on the left of your home page when you click on home you will find create course you create the course you can always change it I told you so it's no problem once you create the course you will get this information as I showed you a second ago and you'll add live class to the course and then once you do that you'll be able to practice in the class and the rest you'll get at 12 o'clock p.m. today or on the recording I believe that I added the class so that you can get the recording if you can't make it so yes next class is next Saturday uh, this is going to be ongoing um, you'll get um, not feedback but for feed forward does anybody know what feed forward is feed forward no no you never heard of feed forward instead of feed back you get feed forward fungus disease <laughs> yes okay it's the it's actually different from feedback you don't do it at the end you do it at the beginning inspires you to improve and work for exactly Cheryl very good look it up look it up <laughs> look it up you'll like it I'm sure you will as teachers not feed feed <laughs> that's okay Richard um, it's all uh, part of the humor all right so are you all ready are you ready to start your task okay let me know if you've got questions of course use the course feed Ramesh will be there helping along thank you Ramesh 
uh, course feed. <laughs> so what is, what is the course feed on WizIQ? The course feed, there's another feed, not forward feed or backward feed, but course feed, which is discussion. Okay, the course feed is the discussion forum. No, that's the course where... <laughs> I'll remind you that these words <laughs> were created by tech people not by teachers okay so course feed is the discussion form so if you have any questions add them there Ramesh and I will be on board to help you and um, the course where it's like where your dishes is your content okay so course where equals content and there's a video on that explaining how things work all right so I'm looking forward to seeing uh, your courses and your classes and you've got a whole week to practice so enjoy and fun of course Denise the whole idea is to have fun that's what it's all about all right so thank you very much and uh, see you online bye bye